Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy. And in this video, I want to show you how you can update your Nitrado PC private community server for Daisy. So I've done many videos in the past about how you can update your console server, but I've never really done one um, about uh, a PC server. If you've got Nitrado, this is specifically about Nitrado. Now the concepts are the same for other server providers, but as I've got a couple of Nitrado PC servers I thought I'd show you. This video is also really aimed at people who are new to having a uh, PC server and haven't updated it before. Um, in the long term what you want to be doing is you want to be learning about FTP, file transfer, file transfer protocol and updating your server this way where you can move files in bulk. It's much easier especially if you're dealing with with more than one server at a time. But we're not gonna be covering FTP in this video. We're gonna be updating our server in a very simple way. So first up, what do we mean by updating? Well, with Nitrado, what happens is when a new update comes out for DayZ, the Daisy server.exe program, the program that, that kind of runs the server, gets updated by Nitrado automatically. In fact, if you've got the app on your phone, you'll get that notification that comes through that says you know, your servers are now updating. And what that does is, as I say, that, that updates the daisy.exe file. So that means your server and your players will then have, for example, this time in update 113, they'll have the new uh, wound infection mechanic. Um, so, you know, if you get a wound and you don't, don't sterilize the bandages or you let it heal by itself, you'll get, you could get an, a bad infection. However, what you won't get is updated XML files. So your players on your server won't get something like the new M16. So let's, let's go into the web interface on our server and I'll, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So if you go into your, go into your server, then down here we go in the, the file browser in the bottom left hand side. And we go into Daisy standalone. These are the directories on the server now. At the top, these folders are all to do with add-ons and various things and, and mods that you may well have installed. You might not have them, but what you're interested in is MP missions. So if we go into here, multiplayer missions then we've got daisy offline generous plus generous map daisy offline enoch which is the livonia map so depending on if you're running a generous or livonia server you click on whichever one and inside here inside this directory we've mainly got all these xml files so these xml files and inside the um, db and env directories these are the files that control the economy of loot on your server and things like zombies and animals as well um, so you know how many how many M16 spawn and all that sort of stuff. So these are the files we need to update. Um, these are also the files that are quite easy to modify to adjust your server without having to use Steam mods or anything like that. But that's a case for another video. So how do we update them? And importantly, where do we get the files from? Well, there's kind of two places that you you can go to. Um, Bohemia Interactive have their own github obviously and normally a few days after an update uh, appears they will update their github and um, you can then download the files from there so here we have update 1.13 has now gone live now to get the files this way you click on this little green box here download zip so you click on download and then you copy it somewhere where you, you you'll want it on your on your laptop or your pc um, and then what you want to do, so for example, I've put it in a folder called 113 Vanilla. You unzip it, unpack it, and, you know, extract it here. And then with, within these folders, you'll see Daisy Offline Plus, Daisy Offline Enoch. If you go into here, you see, oh, these are all the XMLs. So that's a good way of doing it. However, this these getting the files this way it doesn't normally happen until a couple of days after the update. If you want the files quicker. What you want to do is you want to install Daisy server on your computer. Doesn't mean you have to run a server, but if you own Daisy, if you go into your Steam library and make sure games and tools is selected, you'll you'll find Daisy server and you want to install Daisy server and you can actually have a local version of Daisy running on your laptop or your PC which you can play single player. But just just install it. And once it's installed, what will happen is that when there is an update, Daisy server will be updated. In fact, you may have to go in and manually update it. It'll say update there. And then if you go into the folder where your Daisy is on your computer, so in my case, it's on C program files, A6, Steam, Steam apps, common, 
Daisy server. On yours, it might be C user, your username, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. Wherever, wherever the Daisy folder is, you'll see Daisy server. And if we click into Daisy server and we go down, you'll see MP missions. And then we've got offline.generous plus, offline.enoch. And here we have all the XML files that we need as well. So, so they're all there. So this is the quicker way of doing it. Obviously, you are using up space on your laptop or your PC if you if you do it if you do it this way, and then you know it's going to be updating. So whichever way works for you. If you want the updates really quickly, you know, do that. Also, bear in mind that when we do this sort of update, we're not wiping the server. We're not destroying everybody's progress. We're not destroying their bases. We're not killing their characters. We're just going to be overwriting the XMLs, the, the loot economy. So well, after we've done this and we've restart our server, what will happen is some of the old stuff will be hanging around, definitely. You know, it just does for a while until it despawns. But then the new stuff will also start to spawn in, so like the M16, the new knives and, and things like that. So what do we do next? Well, you go to Nitrado um, and uh, you'll, be in the, you'll be in the dashboard. So you go, on, go into the web interface again. And it will load up and you go to the file browser and you go to daisy standalone and then you could ignore all your mods or your add-ons and you go into mp missions and then this is a churnerous server so we'll be um, updating the churnerous xmls now you know what we said about not wiping our server and destroying everybody's progress or their bases that's all in storage one okay so we're not going to mess around with storage one we're going to leave that folder by itself but what we are going to do is we're basically going to be replacing everything else here dead easy to do all you do is you click on upload file and then you go to where you downloaded those vanilla files. So there's 113 vanilla. So let's click onto there. Offline journalist plus. And so this is the first directory. See the directory format is the same. So we just go down to there. And then we would say open. And that would then upload all of those, uh, those files to this directory over the top of them. Then we'd go to DB. Upload the file. Go to those 113s, vanillas, DB. Open. That would then upload all of those. Then we would go to the ENV directory. Click on Upload File. Oop, went too far. 113 vanilla ENV select all those upload those and then restart the server and that what, what would then happen is we've now got the, the 113 XMLs now remember if you've used modded XMLs before like some of mine my 112 XMLs or wh whatever version we are on now when you watch this video they'll be gone you know we're going back to vanilla so then you can think about you know modding them if you want to or using various mods off the steam workshop to change things um, and as i say going forward before the next update you know in this case you know before 114 have a look at some tutorial videos about how to use ftp to upload files to your server so it's very simple you can do things very very quickly um, and there's less chance of making a mistake when you when you're doing these things so there we go hopefully this video has been useful so people who've got daisy uh, pc nitrado servers and hopefully this helps you get updated to 113 or whatever update we're on at the moment um, with as little hassle as possible actually i will i will say one more thing you know i have said this during the video but one more thing as well is depending on the population of your server so how many people are on it logging on and logging off it will take time for new things to appear and old things to disappear Every time someone interacts with something, so you know, say there's a gun on the floor, right? Um, every time someone looks at that or picks it up, the lifetime of that item, so how long it stays in the world, gets extended. So it'll stay there, it'll stay there, it'll stay there. Now, if it was left alone and nobody was looking at it, you know, after a couple of days or a few hours, depending on your server, that will then disappear and 
the other the old stuff has to disappear before the new stuff spawns in so when you've updated your xmls if you get players on your server coming to you and saying no it hasn't worked the stuff isn't here yet. we've still got old stuff just <laughs> just just wait and, and and just you know let the server restart and go through and that stuff will appear anyway that's enough for me if you found that useful hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon